here, welcome to this another episode with me, Arshi, and in this video, I'm going to review Zion Bangalore, right? I mean, I think a lot of students have this specific college in my in their list, and they always have curiosity about the cutoff, about the placements, about how good or bad this college is. And I think I'll try my level best because I mean, before making this video, I've interacted with three students so far, right? And I re-verified the information with every single student. I find some new things, some different things. So, I mean, I'll try to sum it up in this specific episode. So, let's get started. So, yeah, we are talking about Zyme Bangalore right and i am talking about the insights the pros and cons so first of all i mean this is basically zaim bangalore right and they offer two courses which includes pgdm which is general marketing finance hr and then they have this course called pgdm in business analytics right the seat intake for pgdm is 180 and seat intake for business analytics is for the session is near about uh, you know 60 seats so talking about this specific course, Zion was established in the year 1991 and it has a fully residential campus. So uh, yeah, so it's a residential course. You have to be in the campus, uh, you know, for two years. And I feel like, you know, this is something which is a pros at some point of time because, you know, you get that exposure, you get that vibe, you're living in the campus, you have all your friends around you. So there is so much in terms of learning as well. So that is basically about, uh, you know, the Zion Bangalore campus. It is accredited by NBA. And also they have two more campuses, which is in Chennai and, uh, you know, Kochi. But I'll be discussing about those colleges in my next episode for sure. But Abhi, we are talking about this specific college. 1991 was the establishment here. It's a private institution. The campus size is five acres, seat intake 180, top accreditation NBA and recognized by AICTE right so first of all i mean i'll also add this one thing i mean a lot of students have this question that do they i mean though it's a residential program so uh, you know where is basically the hostel so they basically have two campuses coming from left right the first campus where first year classes goes on and there you'll find the girls hostel within 200 meters they have their second campus i mean it's at the same location it's a 200 walking distance and then you'll find the second year classes and the boys hostel. So that is how it is basically uh, in terms of infrastructure. And this is some international linkage. So for this also, because in my previous videos, I was like asking, I was always used to say that, you know, I haven't interacted with students when it comes to this international linkage and collaboration. So might be there is some university in France or something. I mean, I cannot see it here, but students said that, uh, you know, recently few students, I mean, in their batch, when the COVID batch was there, they hadn't, uh, they didn't had any kind of, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, student exchange program. But this year, few students uh, have gone to this international, stu uh, you know, student exchange program. But this is completely option. And yeah, you need to bear all those extra expenses, which is being, which will cost you for this student exchange program. So these are the international collaboration, which includes from universities, uh, colleges in Japan, Korea, US, Russia, and all these universities. Now talking about the programs, they offer PGDM. I think I've already talked about it and also PGDM in business analytics. So it's like 180 for PGDM general and 60 for PGDM in analytics, right? And I think, you know, uh, it's not a very old course when it comes to the business analytics program. It's a new course. I mean, I, uh, you know, uh, this is not the first batch, but yeah, it's not a very old course. So talking about the eligibility criteria, I mean, you need to have a bachelor's degree with minimum 50 percentile, right? Then you have to apply for this specific college. Uh, you know, that is, uh, you know, to, by giving CAT, ZAT, CMAT, MAT, ATMA and GMAT. And, uh, you know, uh, last year I've seen that, you know, they were not asking for any cutoff. Uh, earlier, they kind of specified on their website that they need to have, you know, minimum 500 and, uh, you know, MAT or whatever examination they were expecting. But I think I have asked this question to all three students and they said that, you know, they need a cutoff, right? I mean, they ask for, you know, good percentile in any of these entrance examination. A boy with whom I was interacting, he got 80 percentile in CAT. 
why ask this question after having ED percentile why you came to this specific college so yeah so I mean I think with 75 70 75 I mean they look at your entrance score and based on that they kind of select you uh, when it comes to this specific college I also want to add this important piece of information let me know in the comment section if you've got offer letter from this college so at what percentile you have received offer letter from this specific college and also you know you if you have Zion Bangalore in your list you must be having some other colleges as well right and uh, you need to check that out of all those options which one is the right option to go for it though I'm making this video but still I would suggest to talk to students before taking admission because it, play, it plays a very important role this is a kind of last investment what you're going to make for your education so you should research a lot if you need any help from my side there's a form in the description box what you can fill and ask all your queries related to colleges so talking about the fee structure it is 11 lakh 50 thousand that is basically the fee structure and uh, including hostel it was it will cost near about 14.550 lakh so this is just the tuition fees it doesn't include hostel fees and i think this is basically the campus you'll find all the things which is being required uh, if you'll expect that you know there is a lot of exposure in terms of sports in terms of so that is something which you find it missing but if you want a college which is academically focused then you know this is something what you can consider for so talking about the batch profile 67.4 percent of the batch is basically freshers uh, talking about the gender ratio 174 for male and 137 for female right and the placement so I mean I think uh, the, du the time duration when I interacted with these students right uh, at the time of placements so the last time when I interacted with the girl you know she said that 50% of the batch is still left to place and she also mentioned that Zyme is known for HR but last day you know yesterday when I interacted with the boy he said that you know few students are left from HR specialization this year they have done good in terms of placement which includes finance and marketing right and uh, Again, there's this company called Society Journal. They've taken 14 students, you know, then uh, as per, you know, student 7.5 is the minimum package and the average is near about, you know, uh, 9 lakh, right? And uh, they have a lot of companies, uh, you know, coming for the placement, which includes, but Abhi, Abhi, if we talk about this current 2023, uh, you know, session, right? So, yeah, there are a few students uh, which are left to be placed near about 25 students who are yet to be placed 20 25 students right and i think average i've already told you 99.5 as per students right uh, uh, the good part is you know students said that for operation this is good right uh, uh, you know and the girl said that for hr it is good so all in all the faculties are pretty awesome you know that is this one feedback and uh, you know Overall, you know, if uh, we just have to sum up this specific college. So this feedback, what I've got is basically that for academic, it is a good option for ROI. It's a good option. But if you need a college with exposure, then in that case, you know, uh, you have to little, you know, suffer uh, because they have, you know, curfew at nine. And I mean, yeah, it's a little strict kind of a college internship. They offer for two months, but for exceptional case, they even allow for, you know, three months also. And all in all, you know, this college is located in Electronic City Phase 2 and comes in South Bangalore. So they have, these are the recruiters when it includes, in, uh, you know, Infosys, Gartner, Accenture, DXC, Oracle, Persistent, Dell. I mean, all these companies come for the placement. So that's all about this episode. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. I hope you like this video. For more such videos, keep watching our channel. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe.